Well, good morning, and welcome to 2021, and the 10th day of Christmas, and Sunday school. With the start of the new year, I thought it might be good for us to talk about beginnings. Do you remember your first day at school? What was the day like for you? Were you excited? Were you nervous? Scared? What about the first day you stayed home from the pandemic? What was that like? And what does it feel like to be starting a new year? Sometimes when we start something new, our emotions can get pretty big. Sometimes get the better of us. Sometimes we don't know how to explain what we're feeling. I remember starting as your pastor here in Maryland, and it was a change. I'd been a pastor for many years, but that was in Montana and Wyoming. Being right next to D.C. is different. And meeting new people, well, that can be exciting, and it can be scary, too. What if I forget someone's name? How embarrassing. And what if I forget something important that they told me? What if they don't like something that I share on Sunday? Excited? Yeah. Nervous? Yeah. Hopeful, too. I bet you're hopeful, too. I was glad to be able to be a pastor again after a short time working with family, and I was hopeful that I could help people here, that we could grow together. Do you have a Bible? I hope you do. And how about a pencil and maybe a notebook or some paper? I'd like for you to get these and um, go ahead and stop the video while you do that. I'll, I'll still be here. I mean, it's a video. Where am I going to go? <laughs> go ahead and get your Bible and some something to write on and something to write with and come on back. So now that you have them, open up your Bible to the New Testament. Do you know where that is? I hope you do. Here's one of my Bibles. And normally, if you go to about the back third of your Bible, you'll find the New Testament. Wow, look at that. Fireworks are showing right through. Hmm. Funny how that works. But if you go to the back third, you'll find the New Testament section. And if you go to the fourth book in the New Testament, that's the Gospel of John. I'd like for you to go there and the first chapter of the book. Now, if you're having trouble finding it, if you go to the front of your Bible, way up here in the front, you should find a table of contents. And it will tell you the page number to go to. And again, if you're having trouble finding it, go ahead and pause the video. I'll still be here. And when you found the Gospel of John, come on back. The author of this Gospel was trying to help us understand just how important Jesus was. Jesus was God's gift to us. And through Jesus, we know and understand God. Through Jesus, we receive all the good things God has to give us. And talking about Jesus, John starts out calling him the Word. That's a funny way to talk about him, isn't it? But as I read the Gospel for you today, read along in your version. It'll be different. Read along with me. See how it compares and see what the Bible says about the Word. Just remember, as it's talking about the Word, it's talking about Jesus. And as you go, go ahead and take some notes using that pencil and paper you brought back, too. So, the Gospel of John, chapter 1. Before the world began, there was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. He was in the beginning. All things were made through him. Nothing was made without him. In him was life. 
that life was light for the people of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overpowered the light. There was a man named John who was sent by God. He came to tell people about the light. Through him, all people could hear about the light and believe. John was not the light, but he came to tell people about the light. The true light was coming into the world. The true light gives light to everyone. The Word was in the world. The world was made through the Word. But the world did not know him. He came to the world that was his own. And his own people didn't know him. But some people accepted him. They believed in him. And to them he gave the right to become children of God. They didn't become God's children in the human way. They weren't born because of the desire or wish of some human. They were born of God. The Word became a man and lived among us. And we saw his glory, the glory that belongs to the only Son of the Father. The Word was full of grace and truth. John told about him. And he said, This is the one I was talking about. I said, The one who comes after me is greater than me. He was living before me. The Word was full of grace and truth. And from him we've all received more and more blessings. The law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. But God, the only Son, is at the Father's side, and the Son has shown us what God is really like. The Word of God for the people of God. That's us. And for that we say, thank you, God. So as I was reading, what did you notice about the Word? You probably noticed a lot of other words connected to it, words like grace and truth and light and life. Did you write those down? What else did you notice about it? And what can you say about each of these words, grace and truth and light and life? What do you know about them? And did you notice that the word was always with God? even before the Word came to live with us? That means that grace and truth and light all began before Jesus was born. It started in the very beginning, with God. The beginning. The very first beginning. And a new beginning happened when Jesus was born. And now, with 2021, we have another new beginning. What are some of your hopes for this year? On that piece of paper, write some of them down. Some of your hopes for this year. Now, nobody likes shots, I know that. But I bet you're hoping for the vaccine, aren't you? And you're probably hoping to get back to school again. And I suspect you'd like to be able to visit with friends and family more this year. I think these are some of your hopes. What other hopes do you have? Write them down. And there might be some things that you hope continue. What has happened this past year different than previously? But you'd like to see it continue. Write that down, too. And then send me a note. And I'm going to pray for you that some of your hopes will happen. Now, I have a project for you. I'd like to tell you about it first, okay? Do you remember making a paper chain last year? We're not going to do that this time, but you still will want some strips of colored paper or regular paper if, if that's all you have. Colored paper might be more fun if you have it. 
And on each strip of paper, write one of your hopes. You have lots of hopes, that's lots of strips of paper. I hope that you have lots of hopes. And after you've written all of your hopes down on all of these strips of paper, take another big sheet of paper and those colored pieces of paper and make a design with them on the large piece. Maybe using some Elmer's glue or some other kind of glue, craft glue, whatever you have. Make a design with it. Maybe it'll look something like a path or a map. And then take a picture of your project and send that to me too. I'd like to see it. Before we end our time together today, how about a prayer? Loving God, we thank you for the gift of Jesus and the beginning that he gave us. We thank you for the new beginning of this new year. And we thank you for your gift of hope. As the weeks and months unfold this year, we know that you will be with us and with our friends and our family. And we thank you for that, too. Continue to guide us and protect all of us. Help us each to stay safe and healthy. Thank you also for the gift of prayer and how it helps us in difficult times. Help us to pray often, not just when we're upset or scared. Amen. So this has been another video just for you. I hope you like these. And let me know what you'd like to have in them. And I'll see you next time. Have a good week. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The tidings we bring to you and your kids. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a